key that you need to survive these seasons, whether a season of attack or a season of pruning and dealing and refining. Number one, never lose your joy. Please never lose your joy. In this kingdom, joy is strength. Never, never lose your joy. Mm. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Please write quickly. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Not always. Always as you go. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I repeat. Rejoice. Joy. Joy is of the Holy Ghost though. Joy is not just clownish laughter. You don't have to laugh to be in joy. Lord, I don't know the name of what you are doing, but I rejoice. I rejoice, I rejoice, I rejoice. I rejoice. I rejoice. rejoice. True joy will come in form of a melody on your lips. A melody that does not make sense. Sometimes a melody that mocks your situation, still sing it. Joy. Joy. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. Popular scripture. For many of you don't know where it is in the Bible. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10b. It says, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. That the joy of the Lord is... That means when you lack strength in this kingdom, what you lack is joy. In the physical world, when you lack energy, you are given food. Is that true? In the realm of the spirit, when you lack joy, I mean when you lack strength, what you are given to eat is joy. Sometimes God does not give you the solution. He gives you joy. Joy. Joy, joy, joy. He said, count it all joy. Count it all joy. The shame, yes sir. The pain, yes sir. The no admission, yes sir. The disappointed meeting that I called people and I said, sick people come. And at the end, nobody was healed. And that you went back home and somebody sent a text and said, next time be a serious man of God before you call us. The Bible says, count it all joy. It comes alive every time I hear your voice. It comes alive every time I hear your voice. There's a joy in my heart. In spite of all the sorrows that surrounds me And this joy that I have Only comes to life every time I hear your voice It comes, it comes to life every time Can you watch your car on fire? Your 2.5 or 3.5 million. And you stand and say to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Can you watch your job? And you stand at the gate of your office. It was once yours. But now no longer yours. And say in it, oh God I give you glory. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I be afraid? Can you stand before a corpse and you are looking at a dead body that you fasted for days to come back to life and you say, in spite of it, O God, with the tears coming from my eyes, I still give you glory. I thought the dead body would come back to life, but now I have prayed. I give you glory. Never lose your joy. Let nothing in this life steal your joy. Not lack of money. 
not lack of a child. Please listen to me. This gloominess we carry around is cheating us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. Make up your mind to rejoice in the Lord. Why are you rejoicing and crying? I'm crying because of the reality of my pain. But I rejoice because joy brings harvest. You will sow in tears, but you will reap in joy, not with joy, in joy. If there is no joy, there is no harvest. Number two. What do you do in these seasons? Engage in strategic prayer. Listen, the seasons of attack in a believer's life or a season of pruning and making, they are seasons of deep spiritual emphasis. They are seasons of prayer and intercession. That's not the time to pray morning and evening. That's the time to pray anyhow and anytime. Because you are in a season. Your anchor will be your prayer. Hallelujah. Day and night, you are praying. Lord, I don't know what is happening to my life, but I'm praying. You have your prayer time in the morning. You have your prayer time in the evening. But every time is prayer time. Every time is prayer time. An evil report. Your wife just lost her child. What are you doing? I am praying. Why? I'm in a season. Is any man afflicted? James chapter 5 and verse 13. Let him pray. Let him pray. Not let him discuss. Not let him grumble around. Not let him call God names and say I will backslide. Let him pray. Psalm 34, please. From verse 4 to 7. And then the last part, and we will pray. Psalm 34. I sought the Lord, and He heard me, and delivered me from what? All my fears. Next verse, we are reading to 4, to 7. They looked unto Him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. Six. The poor man cried. And the Lord heard him. And saved him out of how many? All his troubles. Last verse. The angel of the Lord. Encampeth around them that fear him. And delivereth them. Prayer is a powerful weapon. In all seasons. But especially this season. Lord, what is happening around my life? My wife just got attacked. My son just got attacked. My job just got attacked. I am not understanding what is happening. I set myself like Daniel onto prayer. God grants you grace. You can add with fasting. Add with fasting. This spiritual laziness of eating anyhow, anytime. Many believers now fast as a ceremony. Three days fasting, you carry it on your head as if, you, as if it's, it's 12 years fasting. If you love food more than your destiny, life will cheat you again and again. Food is okay, oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones, you must learn to show food. That your spirit man has grown above it. There are many of you here. You cannot remember. I may be wrong. I'm not saying you should do it. Please. I'm not saying you should do it. But as far as I'm concerned. There are spiritual levels that if you get to. A week should never pass. That you did not fast. You are joking. You are joking. Not with what you are doing to hell. You are joking. Seven days. Ah, no. Himarama. 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 
to the King who sits on the throne. Be my Rama to the King. Listen, let me tell you this. I will continue to teach you this secret. Real victory, real victory in prayer is gotten while men sleep. Real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise. Real men of power contact power when men sleep. May God give you the grace to rise above sleep. I'm praying from the... May God give you the grace to not allow sleep to cheat you. That God can wake you up in the night. No light off the light. You are praying. Don't allow distractions. You are praying the next thing. You see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract off the light. You can use your phone light. You are in the night alone. And watch what happens. You are nobody seeing what you are doing. But there is a register. Every day you are signed. It is the day you get to the stage to preach. That's when God will not disappoint you. You don't come on stage and talk nonsense. Lion of the tribe of Judah, Rose of Sharon, Lily of the Valley, Rose of this and that and that. God is not a scammer. He's not a magician. No track record in the secret place. You will flatter yourself to nothing in, in the open. Please learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Learn to pray in the night. Receive grace to dedicate night times and pray. God didn't give you a house just to keep things. Turn everywhere to a prayer altar. Turn your toilet to a prayer altar. Turn your living room to a prayer altar. When everyone has gone off the television, don't pray watching a film. Even if it's a Christian movie, you are not praying. Shut it down. Lord, this is me and you here. I don't know what is happening to my life. A time will come, you feel like just leaning. Get up and say, Satan, you are a liar. I'm going far. A time will come, your tongues begin to change. What you are saying, it will never be what you started with. You, are, you, you have entered a level in the spirit. Tongues are languages and there are levels of power contact. Groanings that cannot be uttered. You get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray. There are times that only one word, one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes. Pray you are receiving power. Prayer is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you are a prayer warrior. Don't joke with your destiny like that. Don't joke with your destiny like that. The Bible says to enter and shut the door behind you. Shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret. You don't need to have a prayer point. You don't need to have a prayer point. Just stay there and begin to pray. Sekat kaparakatos, embrekete keneka takatos, sikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is willing. Listen, can I tell you this? There is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life. It must give way. It must give way. Fire 
is an emblem of the spirit. It's one of the emblems of revival. It's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place. Fire does not only refine. Fire is for judgment. There are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch. My brother and my sister, if you pray from your heart, some things will shift. You will wake up in the morning and know I shifted this through prayer. There are attacks that only prayer can challenge. Pray for me. Pray for me is wonderful. But you must become the priest of your destiny. Can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes? Salabakata. Senakanda Kamahasabas. Rakata Bakato Sopokoto Seketelekata. Emprata Seneketo Shalikata. Tasete Shanahas Kabarato. Rekete Ketekete Kabarakato. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. Skabaratos kama. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual reality. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and sought here. Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. To the king, who upon the wild To the king, the king, the Marama to the king who sits on the throne. He Marama to the king who sits on the throne. He Ela barata katos prende katela katos ekata prakatos kalekata prasana kata saruse sene ketos ala tos ke mahata war to them who are is in zion war to them who are is in zion who sits upon the white horse? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise you would have given up. 
He said, Peter, Satan desire to sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, use the same strategy to strengthen. Strengthen. Prayer is a strengthener. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abided forever. Next verse. As the mountains are around Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever. Next verse. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity. Next verse. Do good, O Lord, unto those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. We are reading till the last verse. As for such as turn aside in their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. But peace upon Joshua Selman. Prayer gives you stability. In the next two, three minutes, you are going to pray. And say, Lord, let this prayer stabilize me. I shouldn't be shaking over everything. I should be able to laugh at certain storms. And say, Jesus is Lord. Lift your voice and pray. Stability. Power. Stamina. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Zekatol shalaha sibreke dekatola. Stability, O God. Stability, O God. The Bible says if you turn aside in the day of battle, your strength is small. Your strength is small. Give me capacity, endurance, stamina. The grace to pass through. For the sake of my family, the grace to pass through. For the sake of my generation, the grace to pass through. For the sake of my, my loved ones. Be strong, be strong, be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Don't be weak, be strong in the Lord. And in the power of His might. Be strong in the Lord. Koinonia, be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. Don't entertain weakness. Be strong in the Lord. You are not the weak one. You are strong. Hallelujah. The third key I will give you tonight. Number one, never lose your joy. Number two, engage in strategic prayer and intercession. Number three, prophesy. The power of the spoken word. There is no greater time in your life to engage the creative power of God's word than when things just go haywire. The power of the spoken word. The power of the spoken word. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers chapter 14 and verse 28. Numbers 14. Say unto them, as truly as I live, saith the Lord, as ye have spoken in my ears, so will I do unto you. There are times that you don't just pray. You pray till the spirit of prophecy comes on you. When it does come, you speak. He said, prophesy. Speak to the dry bones. Prophesy. All oh, dry bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Said, prophesy. There are times you need to prophesy. 
there are times you need to speak. Psalms 138 and verse 8. Very powerful scripture. Psalms 138 and verse 8. Please give it to us quickly. We are going to pray. The Lord will perfect that which concerned me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure forever. Forsake not the works of my own hands. You lift it in prayer. I prophesy and I declare. The Lord is perfecting everything concerning me. I declare that I come out victorious. The Bible declares that goodness and mercy follow me. You don't just cry and say, hey, yeah, so is this how my life is going to be? This is what I've become now. No, sir. Nothing moves till you prophesy. I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. You see, that's why it is important for a believer to be full of God's word. If you are scripture bankrupt, you will not know what to say. Prophecy is not just when God reveals something like word of knowledge. You can take the word of God and begin to create possibilities. It's important to know the word. It's important to know the word. When it looks like things around you are not working, you go to Psalm 3. Many are they that rise up against me. Many are they which say, where is your God? He says, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. You are my glory, the lifter up of my head. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of the heavens and the earth. It's unfortunate for believers who don't know the word. You must trust God for grace to sit down and gather relevant scriptures that address the issue of concern and stand up like the priest that you are. Put those words in the lips of faith like Kenyon would say and begin to release them with true supernatural power. The Lord is my light and salvation. The Lord is my light and salvation. I reject confusion in my life. I hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. This is how to pray. Is someone ready to pray? Listen to me. There are many of us who have gotten to the stage in our seasons where it is our prophecy that will bring the morning. If you don't prophesy, nothing will happen. Is someone ready to pray? If you don't know what to say, go and hold the hands of someone who knows what to say and agree with them. Lift your voice and begin to speak. There has to be a scripture that you know. It shall keep them in perfect peace. Whose minds are stayed towards him. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord delivered him from them all. From them all. From them all. And I will restore the years that the canker worm has eaten, the palmer worm, the caterpillar. It will give them beauty for ashes, joy for the spirit of mourning, that they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord, and He shall be glorified. Behold, I do a new thing. Shall ye not know it? I make a way even in the wilderness, streams in the desert. The Lord shall perfect all that concerns me. All the days of my appointed time, I wait till my change comes. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, they were like them that dream. So said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for us. He said, the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. They that sow in Yes, I'll read.